What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient Minecraft Bedrock automatic melon farm. This should work on all versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, a tablet, an Xbox, a PS4, a Nintendo Switch, or a PC. As you guys can see here, I was able to use this melon farm to get all of these melons. For this farm, all you will need is three pistons, one minecart with a hopper, one hopper, one redstone observer, eight pieces of redstone, one chest, two redstone repeaters, six blocks of dirt, five rails, one redstone button, or any button you want, three ladders, a powered rail, a redstone torch, 25 solid blocks of your choice, five stair blocks of your choice, two water buckets, and three melon seeds. The first step is to take a solid block of your choice, in this case I'm using oak planks, and place a pattern just like this. Then you're going to break this block and break this block, and then place down a chest, and then crouch down and place a hopper that's funneling towards the chest. This is where all your melons will be collected. Ne the next step is to come over here, break this block, break this block, and then place a redstone torch. Then you could seal that back up with whatever block you want. Then you're going to place a power rail on top, it should get powered. Then you're going to place regular rails all around, just like this. When you come into the hopper part, just crouch down so you're able to place a rail on top. Now you're going to take a minecart with a hopper and just push it a little bit and it should start going around in a circle. What this will do is when the melons drop, it should get collected by the hopper with minecart and they should all get funneled down into this chest. The next step is to place some temporary blocks just like this, then you can break them. Then now you're going to place six blocks of dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can break this block. This will be where the melons will grow. Now you're going to place one temporary block over here and then place a stairs just like this, facing upwards, then you're going to connect it so that it has a shape like this, and keep connecting it until you get to this side. Once you get to this side, you're going to place another temporary block over here, and then place down one more stairs, so that way it's connected like this. Now you're going to come over here, and place water just like this so that it's filled in. Then you're going to come over here, place some blocks out, just like this, and then extend one more block out. So you have two blocks behind where the dirt is. Now you're going to come over here, place an observer with the face facing this way. Then you're going to come over here, extend out six blocks just like this. So it's a two by three. Now you're going to come over here and place three pistons. Then you're going to come over here and place one redstone repeater facing this way. Click it two times. Then you're going to Come over here, place one redstone repeater facing this way, and place some redstone filling this part in, and make sure you extend it all the way so it's connecting all three pistons. The reason why we did this is to prevent the redstone observer from sending out a repeating signal, which would cause the pistons to retract back and forth many times. Instead, it's going to now only send one signal whenever a melon grows, so that way the melons will get broken once, and then they'll stop moving until another melon grows. To test this out, you can place one block over here, and if the pistons extend your track one time, then that means you have done this redstone correctly. Now you're going to come over here and enclose the area with glass. You should make the walls about two blocks high, however you should not fill in the roof. The reason why is because if there's blocks covering the part where the melons are, then the melons will not grow. The next step is to come inside and use any hoe you want to till this dirt. Then you're going to plant your melon seeds, and when they grow, they should grow out this way. The next step is to come over here, place down two blocks, then place down three ladders, and then place down a button. This will allow you to manually harvest melons, just in case you don't want to wait for the observer to get triggered when this melon grows. As you can see, when you push this button, it'll cause the pistons to extend and retract. To use this farm, all you have to do is wait for the melons to grow. Once this melon over here grows, they should all get harvested, collected by the minecart with a hopper, and then funneled into this chest. If you guys want to be able to harvest your melons before having this one grow to trigger the pistons, you can manually hit this button and they'll be harvested. And once again, they should get dropped off into this chest.
I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this easy and efficient Minecraft Bedrock automatic melon farm. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Before you end this video, I would like to give a shout out to Skyflyer because this is a modified version of his melon farm design. A link to his channel will be in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, and also check out my other Minecraft videos. I post every other day. Thanks for watching.